Okay, here is your daily video. So we talk a lot in the empath and sensitive people world about setting boundaries, about drawing the line, about <clears throat> not um, being around toxic people or toxicity or overwhelm or overstimulation. And that is all very necessary absolutely and as you know as an empath sometimes i think that we haven't even begun to set our boundaries you probably haven't even set like one tenth of the boundaries or one one thousandth of the boundaries that we probably could be setting around ourselves around protecting ourselves but here's the thing to watch out for and this is where things can get mixed up what where are you setting a boundary and what are you blocking out? So whatever you are blocking from your experience is a pattern. And if you're blocking one thing, you are going to be blocking receiving many things. So, this is not to say don't, you know, block people on Facebook or, you know, if, if somebody feels, you know, really unhealthy to you, then <clears throat> by all means, you don't have to have them in your life. That's not what I'm saying. But when we start blocking, we start criticizing, we start judging, we start putting down um, other people, we do that within ourselves, it's a pattern. It's a pattern. And when you find yourself getting triggered by someone, maybe you get triggered by me, maybe you get triggered by the mailman. Do you try, let's just use the mailman as an, as an example because I just saw one go by. If I am blocking the mailman because he just triggers me for some reason, I don't know, or male woman, I should say, for whatever reason, maybe I don't like the way she's dressed. I don't like the way she walks. I don't like the way she delivers the mail. Like she feels like she's the most important person in the world. Whatever it might be, the story you're telling yourself. I'm going to try to not look when she comes to the door. I'm going to maybe try not to be around. Um, and if I can notice where I'm blocking, it's going to create tension in my body. That tension, that pattern, it's a pattern in you. And that is translating to many more things, many more people, many more situations in your life. So really dive deep. If you really want to be free, dive deep into where you block people and why. What does it trigger in you? What does it bring up in you? Because I can guarantee you that whatever it is that you're not liking in someone else that makes you block, toxic people aside, that that is something that has yet to be seen and felt and healed in yourself. This can, this is a process. This can take quite a long time, but do you notice yourself um, getting triggered by other women? You know, they think too much of themselves. They're just so confident. They just say whatever they feel. They just blurt it out in a room or, you know, she, <clears throat> whatever, she does this or does that or she gossips or she talks behind people's back. I'm not saying to go and do those things. But when we can move from blocking that out to receiving, open your palms right now, receiving that this is valuable information. Doesn't mean we have to have lunch with them or hang out with them. That this is valuable information to take in and to notice what part of yourself, what pattern gets triggered by that? And is that a part of yourself that you are blocking? A part of yourself that you are not receiving? You know, the part that is feels angry or rageful or beast-like or you know eats everything in the cupboards or feels vengeful even though she doesn't show it or feels guilty or feels feels shameful and can you hold that part of yourself 
So the difference, because if you're doing that, you are you are blocking <clears throat> yourself out from receiving so many, so many more gifts that the universe is just trying to give you. Other quick tip, when we're blo blocking the masculine energies of our own masculine energies, which are the more assertive, the more perhaps um, aggressive, the more out there, the more um, uh, the more even protective, the more active, the more doing energies, we are also blocking ourselves from wealth, from money. Money is an active masculine energy that wants to come to you, wants to protect you, wants to help you. How are you blocking that energy in your own life? So make yourself a, a little note to, to take notice. Doesn't mean you ex don't set boundaries. It doesn't mean you don't block people on Facebook that if they're just like harassing you by all means, but notice where you're blocking that pattern. Notice it in your body and take a deep dive in. Bye for now.